Okay, this tutorial is all about image manipulation using WordPress. And while the back end of WordPress is pretty easy to learn how to use and update your website, managing the images and getting them to show up in the posts the way you want them to is probably the most challenging part. So this tutorial will help make that process easier. So here I am on a website uh, that has some images. This is a press release. And then here's the post and here's the content. And then here's what it actually looks like on the live website. So we need to do a little cleanup here. We're going to be manipulating this image and putting it different places in the post. So we go back here. First thing I'm going to do is drag this box and make this a little bit bigger, which is then easier to work with. So here I have this image. And then if I click up here, this will pop up a window that allows me to upload attachments for this particular post. And then if I have any, they'll show up here in the gallery. The gallery is just for this post. The media library is for every post, every page in this website. So that's the difference between the gallery and the media library. And in fact, this gallery link won't even show here until you've added at least one attachment to this particular post. And what I can do is then click to show the details of this particular image. And it has all this information about it, has the title. Alt text is what the search engines see. So that's a good idea just to copy and paste the title down there. And then it captions what's going to show you know, down here below the, the uh, image. You don't really need to put in a description. A link URL is where the user should go when they click on this actual image. And usually you just want to go to the file URL, which is the original version of this file, and in most cases the full-size version of it. And then here's where we start talking about the actual uh, alignment and size of the image in the actual post. So we have no alignment means it'll just kind of show up in its own paragraph and here's where you can choose the size of it and then you would click insert into post. So the first thing I'm going to do is go here. This one's already been inserted into the post. Why don't we just get rid of it. Now if I update you can see it's no longer showing here. If I go back to the web page and refresh no longer showing there, but I didn't actually delete it from this post. It's still in the gallery, it's just not showing in the content. So now, if I actually wanted to delete it, I would go down here and click delete, and then it'll say, are you sure you want to delete this permanently? And then that's how you could delete it. Let's say instead of up the top, I wanted to show it right down here. You put the cursor where you want it, you go back here, show the image, choose the size, and insert into post. There it is. And then you can always, you know, kind of do a little cleanup here, get rid of that extra paragraph. Click update, go back here. When it's done updating, I will refresh. And you can see now it's down here on its own paragraph. So that looks nice, but let's say we actually wanted to have it maybe to the left of this paragraph and have the text wrapping around it. That's when we get down here and do our alignment. So, let's go back here, we'll click to the left of this paragraph, go back to our gallery, show the image, we want to insert it left aligned, this is the size again, click insert into post, now everything will wrap around it, there we go, we go back here, refresh the page, now you can see everything wraps around it. So that's how easy it is to kind of manage how this image is positioned and placed in the content. And then let's say I just wanted to edit it right here. Instead of deleting it and re-adding it, maybe now I just want to write justify it. There's also some advanced settings up here that you can take a look at. And you can even add your own styles if you know how to use CSS. And then um, we can just update it. Now it's write justified. Refresh the page. There it is, and then maybe we'll add the other image down below here at the bottom. So at the very bottom, we will just insert gallery, second image. This one will just have no alignment, so it'll be in its own paragraph. Make sure we got the medium one selected. Might as well give it some alt text for the search engines. Insert into the post. There we go. Go back to the page here, refresh. 
Okay, so that's how you do it. We have this one right justify, we have this one just showing in its own paragraph. So for this particular page, I think that layout works. And then of course the user could click on this and it just brings up the full version of the image. And the same goes for that one. So hopefully that tutorial will give you a little more familiarity and comfort in managing the images uh, in your WordPress posts.